Hey, what is up you guys? It's Airsoft Rules. And I guess uh, some people are wondering what kind of HUD I used and all that crazy shenanigans and scripts and I probably should have done this like a month ago, but anyways. So basically, the HUD I'm using is Franken HUD, which is a collaboration of a bunch of different HUDs. Uh, I don't even know if I've downloaded this. So anyways, you just go to this uh, page on your browser. It's a Steam group and you Obviously, there's release 52. That's the most recent one. And yeah, you just download. And once you're done that, you can download it and install it, which is really simple. And okay, secondly, the scripts I'm using uh, is Crosshair Switcher. It's Aaron's Crosshair Switcher. And all right, so first thing you want to do once you download this is go into File and select TF2 Directory. And obviously, mine's green right now. Normally, it'd be red for you guys. And you just browse and you find your well, basically, it tells you how to find it, actually. And you just get into your TF thing. And there'll be a script folder, and it'll say everything right here. And then you can go here and... Well, actually, no. First thing you need to do is create a crosshair. So, first thing I want to do... Okay, let's do test. And there's a variety of crosshairs you can choose, right? So, let's go with... Yeah, let's go with that one. Uh, change the color. I can change it to whatever I want. So, I can do it to dark purple. I really like the light colors because they're easier to see. Go with hot pink. <laughs> um, hmm. I think I might go with an orange. Oh, no, that's going to be a bit... No, we'll go with the blue. Okay, so now we can see what it looks like. Uh, view, mount, field view. We should add that at 80. And that's how much of your weapon's sticking out, actually. Like, some people have it all the way at 120. It's like friggin' ridiculous. And I'm like... What the heck are you doing? You can't. Yeah, I don't know. You can also hide your. I don't know why people would hide cross. It's, but you can also hide your weapon model, which I have done already. So you create, create, hit create, and this is for soldier. So, um, I would put it for test, and there you go. That is pretty much it. Um, as for uh anything that you want for goals. Uh, you can do whatever you want for the other ones. I've done a bunch of different things for different classes. So you have different cr custom crossers because I have like default here and then all these other ones. And once you're done, click upgrade and yes, continue. And it's done, just like that. Okay, now that we're done with all of our shenanigans, we can now go back into TF2. And I'm already loaded up a map and such. This is TR Walkway. I will probably show this map in a later date and how to use it and all that shenanigans but anyways so as you can see your new interface is uh, installed this is Frankenhood and this is what it looks like um, so I'll, you have to go in red for the steam you can see all your different classes which is pretty cool and look at that I'm playing as soldier I have the new crosshair that we selected and hmm interesting uh, and yeah that's pretty much it. As for Frankenhunt, it does light up your uh, your kill animation. No, no, not kill animation. Ah, whatever. You get the idea. It it gives uh, the nice bright yellow, which I really like about it. So yeah, I think that really about sums it up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, though, and. This probably actually looks weird, but I think that really about sums it up. I wanted to make this a quick video, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I guess if you're not subscribed already, why aren't you subscribed, Sonny? Um, well, I guess it's a, honestly an option. It's a choice. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later.